And now, now here's the host of Mimnesco, Theodore Henry! Welcome to the Mimnesco Quiz Show. Now, this is a show where Adventists youth display their knowledge of the Adventist Church, its teachings, and there will be a little bit of general knowledge in between. Now, today we have with us teams from the Burnside Valley Seventh-day Adventist Church and the New Haven Seventh-day Adventist Church. Our judge for this evening is Sister Teresa Easy, and I'm your host, Theodore Henry. You've heard the word Mimnesco. That's a Greek word, which means essentially to remember. Now, how this show works is that there are three rounds of questions taken from three different youth curricula, namely the Adventurers Club, the Pathfinders Club, and the Young Adults. Now, each team has three participants from each group. So there will be three adventurers, three pathfinders, three young adults. And those teams will each get a round of questions lasting five minutes. At the end of all the three sections of five minutes, there will be a final question, which the participants will sacrifice as many points as they desire in order to maximize their chances of winning. So they'll put forward as many points as they want, and if they answer correctly, they'll get that many points, which will boost them into winning. However, if they do not answer correctly, if the answer is incorrect, they will lose that many points. However, without further ado, we will move right into round one with our adventurers from the Burnside Valley and the New Haven SDA churches. Right then, our adventurers are in place and they are looking confident. Yeah, such lovely smiles on both sides. I'm going to ask you to introduce yourselves to our watching audience online. So we're going to start with our team from New Haven. Please take off your mic, speak clearly, tell us who you are. My name is Elise Garwood. My name is Corey Berry. My name is Lardia Moffat. Thank you so much. And that is the team from New Haven. Following them is the team from Burnside Valley. You may begin. My name is Zoe Ann Henry. Hi, Zoe. My name is Cameron Tashi My name is Kenny Stixon. All right. Lovely to meet these young adventurers who are here to compete in the Mimnesco quiz show. Again, our churches represented here are the New Haven SDA Church and the Burnside Valley Seventh-day Adventist Church. Now, adventurers, I want you to listen carefully. All right? Now, this round is going to consist of questions from your club curriculum, the Adventurer Club curriculum. And those categories are, are you listening? Those categories are, my God, Adventurer Law, Health Specialist, Bible One, and the final category is Hygiene. So my God, Adventure Law, Health Specialist, Bible One, and Hygiene. Now, you will, your teams will have five minutes to answer the questions, all the questions, and uh, the points will be awarded based on your correct answer. If you get the answer correctly, You'll get the amount of points that you chose. So, let's jump right into it. Can we have five minutes on the clock, please? All right, we are going to go with Team New Haven, who will open this section. You are going to choose the category and the number. So, you will choose one of the categories and which question you would like us to do. New Haven, go ahead. Adventures Law. Adventures Law. All right, our second category. And which one of those questions? Five points, 10 points, 15 points, 20 points, or 25 points? 25, 25 points. All right. They are starting with a bang. Adventure Law for 25 points. And that question says This law means to pay close attention to what is happening. This law means to pay close attention to what is happening. Please buzz if you know the answer. No, no, no. 
All right, you had. I am sorry, New Haven, but you had 15 seconds to answer the question, and the 15 seconds expired. The answer to that question, Burnside Valley, New Haven, is what is be attentive? That was the adventurer law. All right, so let's go back to the board. We're going to be choosing now Burnside Valley. You're the one who will be choosing the category and the amount. Remember, though you may choose the category and the amount, anyone can answer the question by pressing their buzzer first. All right, go ahead, Burnside Valley. Hygiene. Hygiene. That is the last category. How many points would you like to choose? 25. Ooh, the adventurers are brave. They're going for the 25 points. Hygiene for 25, which says, what causes body odor three answers if you know you may buzz and the 15 seconds to answer are up the answer to that question is dirt oil and sweat all right we are back to the board and new haven it's your time to choose the category again my god my god how many points would you like to choose 15 15 points my god let's get that up on the board the question is are we listening burnside valley Get ready to press your buzzers if you know the answer. The question is, God used this man to rescue his people from slavery just as he had promised. All right, I see New Haven. Go ahead. Who is Moses? That is correct. 15 points for New Haven. We're back to the board. New Haven, since you answered correctly, you get to choose the category again. Health specialist. Health specialist. How many points? 15. 15 points. All right, let's get that on the board. Health specialist, 15 points. Sunlight contains blank, which helps to form strong bones. Burnside Valley. Moon. The answer supplied is moon, and that is not correct. That means the question transfers to New Haven. New Haven, would you like to take a chance? New Haven, go ahead. What is vitamin D? Vitamin D is the correct answer to that question. All right. So, let us continue. New Haven, you answered correctly. The category choice is yours. Hygiene. All right. Hygiene, how many points? 20. 20. All right, 20 points hygiene. Let's get that on the screen. It is okay to turn your underwear inside out for a second wearing. True or false? True. True, true. No. New Haven, Burnside Valley. Remember, I said you have to press your buzzer. New Haven, you answered before pressing your buzzer. Which means that you lose those points. You lost 20 points a while ago because you chose a 20-point question, but you answered before pressing your buzzer and being acknowledged. Remember, teams? Answer after you are acknowledged. All right, Burnside Valley. You're going to be choosing the category now. Go ahead. Adventure Law. Adventure Law. How many points? Mm. 10 points. Let's get 10 points on the board. The question says, this law includes speaking and walking quietly in the sanctuary. Press your buzzer. Wait to be acknowledged. All right, New Haven. What is respectful? What is respectful? That is not the answer I have. Valley. Burnside Valley, would you like to attempt that question? Go right ahead. Reverend. What is be reverent? Yes. And that is correct. 
All right, Burnside Valley, since you got the last answer correct, you are going to choose the next question. All right, I'm being told that our time, our five minutes, has expired. So, adventurers, your five minutes are up. We thank you for playing this section. We're going to go right into the Pathfinder section, but first, we're going to go to a short break. Hey, Brandon, something Big is coming, you know. Really, what's going Something on? Something big. It's let's talk about him. Wow, talk to me about it. What's going on? Listen, I don't know who you follow, you know, but I know I follow Jesus, and it's an online union-wide evangelistic series. Really, you know, with, with who? Who's on this program? Come on, man, Pastor Dane Fletcher and Pastor Omar Oliphant. You know, I heard about this. You know, I think it's October three to October seventeen. That's isn't right. It? Yes, but how can I get the information about this? It's it's easy man all you have to do is go on their website at ltah.org and you can register for bible study too you know i heard that someone was telling me you know that because time on earth is getting very short now more than ever we need to talk about jesus so let's, let's talk, talk about, about him, him. Right, our Pathfinders have joined us from New Haven and the Burnside Valley SDA, and we're going to just take this moment for you to introduce yourselves. So we're going to start with New Haven. Go ahead, introduce. Hi, I'm Jayla Bedford. Hi, I'm Kayla Landos. And I'm Rachel Pearson. Welcome, Burnside Valley. Hi, I'm Shani Wolfer. I'm Maria Dunco. And I'm Lisa. All right, welcome. You will see on the board behind me a bank of categories and questions. Points. You're going to choose a category, whoever's turn it is to choose the category, and choose the points at the same time. The categories are spiritual discovery, health and fitness, nature study, church heritage, and Christian grooming. We're going to begin this section with New Haven. New Haven, you're going to choose the category, but anybody can answer. If you answer correctly, Burnside Valley, you then choose the category, and anybody can answer. I will acknowledge you after you press the buzzer. Are we clear? Five minutes on the clock, please. Let's begin. New Haven, please choose your category. Christian grooming, 10 points. Christian grooming, 10 points. That question says, what kind of grooming is done through daily communion with God? All right, New Haven, go ahead. Soul grooming. That is correct. New Haven, for the correct answer, you choose again. Spiritual discovery, 10 points. Spiritual discovery, 10 points. The question is, complete the text. Thy word had I hid in my heart that New Haven, go ahead. That I may not sin against God. All right, that is correct, New Haven. Category and points. Christian, gr Christian grooming, 15 points. Christian grooming, 15 points. And that question says, what is another name for the etiquette used when eating? Um, New Haven, go ahead. What is table, table manners? That is correct. Choose your category and points, New Haven. Nature study, 15 points. Nature study, 15 points. That question says, what is God's sign that he will not destroy the Burnside Valley? Rainbow. That is correct. Burnside Valley, choose your category and points. Spiritual discovery, five points. Spiritual discovery, five points. And that question says, the first four books of the New Haven. What is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? The question is, the first four books of the New Testament are called, and that is incorrect. Burnside Valley, would you like to try? The Gospel. That is correct. Burnside Valley, choose your category and points again. Spiritual discovery, 15 points. Spiritual discovery, 15 points. The book of Psalms is one of the books of New Haven. David. That is incorrect. Burnside Valley, would you like to try? Chris. Repeat your answer. Praise. That is also incorrect. Can we have the answer on the screen? The answer is poetry. All right. So, to you. Category. Okay. 
Christian groom in 20 points. All right. The question says, what kind of character is demonstrated when you do the right thing, even when it is difficult? New Haven. Integrity. What, what is integrity? integrity? The answer supplied is incorrect. Burnside Valley, would you like to try? Morality? That is also incorrect. And the correct answer is, what is godly character? Burnside Valley, category and points. Church heritage, five points. Church heritage, five points. That says, who from the Millerite movement was known as the Morning Star? No answer supplied. That is William Miller. New Haven, to you. Nature study, 20 points, please. That question says, what star is used, New Haven? The North, star. The North, is the North star. star. That is correct. New Haven, you again. Health and fitness, 5 points. The question is, we should do this activity at least 30 minutes each day. New Haven. What, what is, is exercise? exercise? That is correct. New Haven, still with you. And I'm sorry, that is the end of this five-minute segment. Well played, New Haven. Well played, Burnside Valley. We're going to go to a short break now and then return with our young adults. All across Jamaica, there's an exciting, growing phenomena that has everybody talking. From the classroom to the marketplace, there's one thing on everybody's lips. Let's talk about him. 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 This is your personal invitation to join us for the Let's Talk About Him online evangelistic campaign, October 3 to 17, under the theme, I Follow Jesus, with the dynamic evangelist, Pastor Dane Fletcher, and his powerful co-evangelist and host, Pastor Omar Oliphant. Let's talk about him. We're asking that you register for the online Bible lessons at ltah.org. Complete all 14 lessons and you will receive your certificate from the Herbert Fletcher University. Then you encourage your non-Adventist friends to do the same. I follow Jesus. I follow Jesus. I follow Jesus. I follow Jesus. Let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. Welcome back. We are now going into the young adult section of the Mimnesco Quiz Show. The adventurers have made a good showing for themselves. So have the Pathfinders. Let's see what the young adults bring to the table. We continue with the teams from New Haven and Burnside Valley. And we're going to begin with New Haven, who will introduce themselves. Starting at the end. Uh, hello, my name is Ashley on from, from New Haven, SD. My name is Sharice Hall. My name is Bradford Lance. All right. Welcome, New Haven. Burnside Valley. Go ahead. Hello. I'm Tashika Howell from Burnside Valley. My name is Christina Grant. All right. Welcome, Burnside Valley. All right. Thank you for introducing yourselves, New Haven and Burnside Valley. Uh, your points standing are New Haven with 80 points and Burnside Valley with 30 points. There's a correction from the last segment. New Haven answered a question uh, completing a Bible passage, and the answer given was God, but the correct wording that we wanted was the. While it's the same thing, we wanted you to quote the Bible passage correctly, so you lost 10 points for that. And New Haven, you gained 20 points at the end of the segment because of the answer which you gave to the question of Christian grooming. You supplied the answer integrity, which is accepted by the judges. So the point standing again is 80 points for New Haven and 30 points for Burnside Valley. We're going to begin this section with Burnside Valley. And the categories are AY History, SDA Hymns, SDA History, SDA Beliefs, 
and SDA organization. Five minutes on the clock, please. Burnside Valley, you may choose. SDA him for 10 points. SDA hymns, 10 points. That question says, state the number for this hymn, I sing the mighty power of God. Burnside. Teams, you were warned that you will lose points for answering before you were acknowledged. So unfortunately, Burnside Valley, you would have lost 10 points just, just now. Now, New Haven, we're going to you. Category, points. Hymns for 50 points. That question says, state the title of hymn number 371. The time for that question has expired. The correct answer would have been lift him up. Burnside Valley, we're back with you. Category and points. That question says, the sanctuary illustrates the substitutionary sacrifice, the priestly mediation, and the blank of Christ's ministry. Burnside Valley. The end of Christ's ministry. All right. Uh, based on the answer that Our I have, it is not quite correct. Uh, New Haven, would you like to attempt that question? The fulfillment, fulfillment of Christ's ministry? That is also incorrect. The answer for that question is the final judgment. New Haven, category and point. SDM's 20 points. That question says, the chorus of this hymn tells us it's the hour of prayer. Burnside Valley. Sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer. That calls me from the, this world of care and listen. I'm going to ask you for the number. Five. What is the number of the hymn? 505. Five. That is incorrect. Burn, New Haven, would you like to attempt? All right, they have decided not to attempt. Uh, the number of the hymn is number 501. All right, Burnside Valley, we're back with you. Category, points. SDA history for 10 points. SDA History 10 points. That question says, This farmer began at Burnside Valley. William Miller. That is correct. Burnside Valley, we're still with you. SDA History for 20 points. That question says, The first SDA school in Jamaica, New Haven. Falls. The answer supplied is false, and that is incorrect. The full question is, the first SDA school in Jamaica was formed in 1897. All right. Burnside Valley, your question. Sorry, SDA history for 15 points. SDA history, 15 points. Those who believed that Christ coming in 1844 was a spiritual event in the life of believers, I'd like you to tell me who these people were. The Millerites. Sorry. Burnside Valley supplied an answer before being acknowledged. And so that question goes and Burnside Valley loses that amount of points. New Haven, choose your category and your points. That question says, Christ's death abolished the ceremonial law, but not New Haven. The ten, what is the Ten Commandments? Or the law We're, of God? We will accept. We will accept that answer. New Haven, you're still on the board. SDA hymns, five points. SDA hymns, five points. That question says the title of the hymn, number 551, says Jesus, Savior, Black. New Haven. What is pilot me? That is correct. New Haven, we're still with you. SDA History, five points. SDA History, five points. That says the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists was New Haven. What is 1863? 
And that is correct. I believe I heard the sound for the five minutes. And that is the end of the young adult section. The five minutes are up. New Haven and Burnside Valley, we thank you for competing so admirably. We're about to go for a break. But when we return at the end of this break, we'll be going into the final segment in which both teams will be allowed to answer. They will wager the amount of points that they have, as high or as low as they would like. And based on the correct answer, they will gain that amount of points. If they supply an incorrect answer, they will lose that amount of points. And at the end of the match, we will see the totals for both teams. Please stay with us. We'll be back shortly. This is your special invitation to recruit and register a friend to participate in an online study to talk about Jesus. Use one of the following options for registration. Number one, ask the person to go to ltah.org, click on registration, and follow the prompt to create a new account. Or number two, complete the registration process with the person by going to ltah.org and fill in the required information. Or number three, Get the approval of the person to participate in this online study. Request the information below from the person and then inform him or her to expect an email with instructions from support at hfuniversity.org. Then use the information to register the person. If you register someone, you should click on the arrow at church member that is registering the participant and fill in your personal information that is requested there. Always keep in touch to motivate him or her to complete the course and receive the certificate from Herbert Fletcher University. We're back with our final segment of the Mimnesco Quiz Show. We have Burnside Valley and the New Haven SDA churches competing this afternoon. We've gone through the adventure segments, the Pathfinder segments, and the young adult sections. Now we are into the final Jeopardy question. This one is a bit dangerous, and the rules surrounding this question are these. Each team has chosen one representative from each segment. You're seeing an adventurer, a pathfinder, and a young adult represented on each team. They have submitted wages against their point standings, and based on the number given, whatever number they have suggested, they will either gain these points with a correct answer or lose these points with an incorrect answer. The game can be won or the game can be lost on this question. Teams, are you ready? Are you ready, team? All right. So, New Haven has submitted the points they would like to sacrifice and put up on the block. And Burnside has done the same. New Haven has put up 20 points out of their 100 points. And Burnside is going all in with 15 points. The question will be displayed on the screen. And you have 30 seconds to answer this question. Not out loud. You are going to write your answer hand them to myself, I will read your answers, and we will determine who is correct. Are we ready? 30 seconds on the clock, please. The question is, this book of the Old Testament has only one chapter. And the 30 seconds are up. Team, stop writing and submit your answers, please. I'm heading over to New Haven. Thank you. I've gotten your answer. I'm also going to head over to Burnside Valley and get their answer. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, 
those who are watching us, we thank you for staying with us this afternoon for this first episode of the Mimnesco Quiz. New Haven has submitted their answer. That's New Haven. And the answer they have submitted is, what is Hosea? New Haven, I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. So New Haven risked 20 points on this sacrifice, and with an incorrect answer, they have lost 20 points. Burnside Valley, they submitted in excellent handwriting the answer, Obadiah, and that is correct. So Burnside Valley now gains 15 points, doubling their 15 points to 30 points, and New Haven has lost 20 points with an incorrect answer. We thank you for watching this first show of the Mimnesco quiz, and we thank our teams for participating so ably. We're going to go to a short message from our sponsors. We'll return to wrap this quiz up with the final point standing and declare this evening's winner. Based on the answers submitted from New Haven and Burnside Valley, I actually should switch this around. New Haven and Burnside Valley, the final point standings are this. New Haven stands at 80 points, having lost 20 points on that final question. And Burnside Valley stands at 30 points, having gained 15 points on the final answer. So our winner for this evening's Midlesco Quiz Show is New Haven SDA Church. Good job, New Haven. Thank you for playing so admirably, Burnside Valley. And as we wrap up this program, we'd like to thank our participants, our judges, our timekeeper, the entire production team that has made this production possible. Join us next week, same time, same place, for the Mimnesco Quiz Show. I've been your host, Theodore Henry. Good night.